Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I want to speak regarding season beginning for free to play players. For players who does not pay anything in this game, I mean real money, and they are simply collecting stuff and trying to improve by organic gameplay. Uh, first of all, finally my, my server went to season 2. Uh, I was in season 1, I was in season 1 plus, and finally season 2 is here with a lot of rewards, a lot of things to choose uh, on how to spend gems, what to prioritize, and so on. Uh, let's get get to the point. Uh, first of all, everybody is interested which kind of rewards you are getting. Uh, my alliance finished on a conqueror level. Uh, there is three levels. One is Anointed, Conqueror, and Enduring. Uh, let's pick one by one. If you finish the season in Anointed, uh, I don't know how to spell this name, uh, stack, I think like they just added new Warped skills, which I think you can get by capturing it and selling the pets. And still... Like, everything depends on what your needs, like, if you are lacking some VIP points, you can get VIP points. If you want to add some stars and you are lacking 10 stars, you can get 10 stars. But, uh, still, even with the Warpets, uh, Legendary Hero Tokens are best, because it's the hardest uh, uh, thing to generate in the game. Like, you only get from the events, right? Uh, same as here, like, uh, they... Added like Warpets uh, skills in the Conqueror tree, but here again, as you can see, I, I got legendary hero tokens. So I think tokens are like main priority because it's really hard to get tokens in the game, uh, and like it's kind of free if you're just playing the game in, through the season and doing stuff. You are getting these coins, which is called Yggdra Crystal, and the legendary tokens are way to go. Let's continue to common ones. Here are some variety of choices which you can go. Like everything here can be good, but less important from here is mana, in my opinion. Uh, and one of the most important, like if you have artifact you want to uh, give a star, you can go to, to this. But uh, C uh, standard CP recovery potions and prestige amount is good prestige is good because you will be able to go through to the, through the policies like policies are really important and really tiring to upgrade in the beginning of the season so it will help you a lot regarding policies and again you have zero levels on your heroes and cp potions will be uh, helpful too. Also remember, uh, like here you can only choose one reward, but here on a common section you can choose as much rewards uh, as you have a Yggdrasil crystal. So as you can see, I, I bought a Ascension Emblem, I bought some Prestige, and I almost bought out whole CP Recovery uh, stacks. Uh, I didn't have a much Yggdrasil. If I had uh, like many more, I would buy this CP potion and all of this prestige because like killing uh, dragon trail in the beginning of the season is not easy and you need a lot of prestige to uh, upgrade your like military yeah, like your legion capacity your uh, overall gathering your hero bonus and here some healing and stuff so we just finished talking about rewards uh, which rewards are good, which rewards uh, you can choose if you want, if we have a different priority. Uh, now, I think we should speak about regarding the compendium. Like, whenever, like, as I, as I said, my alliance finished on Conqueror, uh, there is Anointed and there is Enduring. And uh, same names comes to the compendium artifact. Like, as I said, we finished on Conqueror. And here, like, you need 30,000 30, gems, and you will get two legendary artifacts for sure. This is a good way of getting artifacts in the beginning of the season. Here are some great, great choices. 
like Rat Rattle Spear, which I really really want, is great. Shadow Blades is great. Infernal Flame. Dra like here, these artifacts are like main artifacts for the legions which you're gonna run. Like if you want to go Magic, like Phoenix Eye and Internal Internal Flame, Marksman, Shadow Blades, Rattle Spear, uh, Infantry, Dragon Scale Armor, Spring of Silence, uh, or it's like yeah, uh, also Dragon uh, Rift, Kingslayer, and uh, storm arrows for cavalry. I actually think of spending some gems here, uh, but also here is Wheel of Destiny. Like you can get some legendary uh, season two heroes from here, but um, in my opinion, uh, like everything here, like Riches of the Forests, you need to have a lot of gems. As a free-to-play player, you don't have a lot of gems, because if you spend real money in the game, you are getting gems. If not, you are collecting by events, you are collecting like, like one by one, you are not spending anything, and you are waiting the end of the season to, uh, to decide where you want to spend. So here we have a couple of choices, right? Either we're gonna spend on the uh, artifact compendium, if you want to have a new artifacts, uh, we're gonna spend our own riches of the forest, like here are four artifacts which you can like choose, or we want to have a new heroes uh, here, right? In my opinion, as a 100% free-to-play player, uh, I don't even have Lilia, I have some heroes which are not even fully upgraded, like I'm working on Kinara, and you can see my Kinara is 5521, no. And really, if I will spend money on Wheel of Destiny, okay, I will get new heroes, but I won't be investing in these heroes for now. At least I want to have one legendary awakened hero, which is Kinara. Uh, regarding Riches of the Forest, I think this event is for the people who have a lot of uh, artifacts, a lot of choices to which artifact to give, give on which legion. And they want to have a new ones, like for example, Gold Crest for Cinderian is great. Uh, but uh, again, here if we want, if we will spend uh, money on Riches of the Forest, like there is 1.5% probability chance of getting either of these. And if we want to go to the Compendium, like 20 tries one legendary artifact every 10 draws, which means like you're gonna get two legendary ones for sure. And in my opinion, this is the best way of spending gems uh, in the beginning of the season for a 100% free-to-play player. Well, my thing is kind of hard because I'm really close on VIP 10 and I can just spend 9,000 gems uh, here and I will be VIP 10. But I have never spent anything uh, on compendiums in this game, and I, I decided that I will go for this one. I won't gonna go uh, on 20 attempts because I don't have enough gems. This is all I collected for the season one plus from season one plus. I will try to get one, and let's see if I will be lucky. <laughs> I, I just really want Rattle Spear. But if I won't gonna get Rattle Spear, Dragon Scale Armor, Springs of Silence, Dragon Rift, and King Slayer is also good for me. Uh, Shadow Blades and Phoenix Eye I, I already have. So let's try my first ever Conqueror Artifact Compendium and let's see if I will get uh, Rattle Spear for my Kinara and Nico or Nico and Kinara uh, Legion. Let's go. Uh, first uh, open is Epic. Okay, Spirit of Bengal. Uh, let's continue. Let's try to... Uh, like, it will be amazing if I will get Legendary one before 10 draws, but it will be really hard, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, uh, like, there is some yellow, and I thought it was Legendary one. Okay, we are keeping with Epics. I... Okay, here, yes. We got the Legendary one until the 10 attempts, like... People who spend money in these games, they don't have this excitement with this. Uh, it was it's my first time ever doing a Conqueror Compendium, and I, I got kind of like, let's see if it's a Rattle Spear. Okay, well, Spring of Silence, I did not have an infantry artifact, now I have. 
so uh, it will be really really useful for my infantry like for now i'm using uh, eliana as a main infantry because my main uh, legion is our uh, marksman but this is great like okay i did not get rattle spear but uh, at least i got something right uh, okay if i will con if i will uh, spend like three more will i get a legendary one uh, okay let's try Let's see, <laughs> 3 is nothing, like see, this is addictive, right, like uh, I collected these gems whole season, and okay, it's, it was good, okay, wait, uh, should I get even one more, or what, okay, that, that's it, okay, I, I need these gems to get to level 10, well, here is a bundle, if I want to spend some money here, thank you, no, I'm free to play player. I want to continue playing like this. Uh, so here, yeah, this, this is the rewards regarding uh, like uh, which level your art, your alliance finished. Uh, the important stuff and struggle continues whenever you want to progress through game when the season just started because all your uh, legions are all your heroes are zero level. So I would recommend to farm like not not with a single uh, legion like go to the multi create and farm with a whole uh, army like you will you will get like four or five uh, heroes leveled up at the same time don't forget to gatherers to get at least three level in order to have the earth grace with earth grace your gatherers will get experience by just farming the nodes so at least three level is important for every gatherer and yeah, like at first it will be struggle because you need to have your uh, heroes levels up. Uh, let's hope this new season will have a better and uh, like faster gameplay because wars are why this game is good. And just farming and just doing nothing, yeah, it's it's great. You're progressing, but this is a war game and you are preparing every like all the day uh, for the war which might happen or which are planning to happen. I wanted to speak regarding rewards and the struggles for free-to-play player to get uh, like the at least same power as the last season. Like I don't have CPU now, I can't farm, I, I can't progress through Dragon Trail uh, because it's harder for me, uh, I don't have enough prestige. Uh, well, good thing. We got new artifact, uh, it's great, Springs of Silence. So yeah, this this is how I how I decided to go through like season to beginning. I hope this video will help you uh, regarding beginning of the season. Uh, like and you can you can take like into consideration like as a free to play player you're collecting gems. It's like it's your decision. Like you want to go to new heroes, okay? Spend on new heroes. You want to go get a new artifact, okay? Get a new artifact. But uh, like these twenty attempts is great value. I think it's the best value you have currently with every uh, events which is going in a season beginning. Well, this is all I want to speak uh, regarding the beginning of the season two. I uh, hope you like the video. If you have a different opinion or different view, uh, please share. I'm learning this game with you guys. Uh, and yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Bye-bye.